So in this video, we are going to learn how to install Comfy UI and we're also going to learn how to get started with Stable Diffusion. The emphasis for this updated video is going to be on security. And that's important because number one, I care about security and number two, currently Stable Diffusion users are being targeted by hackers and leakers. Now, this is something I didn't really mention before in the past, but security has become very important for Stable Diffusion. There have been attacks on Stable Diffusion users by attackers who are specifically targeting Stable Diffusion users. I wanted to avoid this subject in the past because I didn't want to frighten learners and put them off learning about Stable Diffusion and using the software. But since we are now being targeted, it is important to discuss this issue of safety and security. Now, as well as there being these hackers, there are also some important lessons and security measures that we can take. And already some of those have been implemented. So I do want to encourage you to learn a little bit more about safety and how to make yourself secure when you're online. For this course, use the links that I give you. Those are gonna be going to safe websites. I'm still learning myself about the current situation in terms of trust and safety and security. And we'll try to impart as much information as I can to allow you to remain safe whilst you're using Stable Diffusion. I'm going to mention that there is another video which is focused solely on security. There'll be a link to that in the resources and I would really encourage you to watch that one because that's gonna really up your skills in terms of uh, making sure that you're safe and you're alert all the time. Now we're gonna install a bunch of software. The first one is gonna be Git for Windows and you can download it at the website that I'm going to link to. There is another website that we can use and this one here, and it will usually highlight download for Windows if you are accessing the website using Windows. Now those, the, the, those links are gonna be for the two websites. If you come to a website that doesn't look anything like this, then you've come to the wrong website. Just use the links I've given you, you should be fine. Now, once this is installed, you should be able to use GitHub and we're gonna be using GitHub a lot. And this will add functionality that does not exist in Windows, but that functionality will allow us to do things with GitHub that we could not do otherwise. Next, we wanna to go to Comfy UI, the project on GitHub, and we wanna download and start uh, installing that. GitHub has been the source of some of the security uh, infiltrations and some of the malware that has really caused problems has come from here. So although it's a safe website, you do need to be extra careful. And I'm gonna give, give you lots and lots of tips and hints as how to stay safe. What we want to do is to download and install Comfy UI. This is fairly straightforward. And if we come down to the installation area, installing Comfy UI, we click on that, we get to the Windows section and we're gonna download the direct link to download. Just click there, it will start this one to two gigabyte download. You also are gonna need 7-zip. That will allow us to extract the contents of the zip file. Now, there's probably something inside of Windows already that will unzip this file, but this is an open source free software that you can use. Just click on here, it will take you to the correct website. We're gonna need to download at least one model. So let's download a really good one. Dream Shaper 8 is the one we're gonna be downloading. It is uh, of the SD 1.5 base model and it is one which is very easy to download and use and it's very, very good in terms of its quality. So just come here, click on the download button and once we've completed those two downloads, we will be ready to actually install. The Learn Generative AI with SDXL, Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI course on Udemy. This one is very good for getting started once you've learned the basics of installing Stable Diffusion. I'll link to this in the resources. There may also be a coupon there that you can use to get a discount. Now the goal is to end up with Stable Diffusion installed, Comfy UI user interface. We can click Q prompt and it will create an image using our prompt. Now, let me show you how we set this up and how easy it is to actually get started. So we'll go into Windows and we will start, well, basically we'll start extracting things and installing them. Now, inside of Windows, what we want to do is to put the Dream Shaper and also the Comfy UI 
uh, zip file in one area. As far as the dream shape, I'll show you where to put that a little bit later on. But the Comfy UI zip file, right click and choose 7-zip and extract here. That will create a folder and that folder will contain everything that we need. Now, if you are one of these guys that uses uh, automatic 11.11, some of the stuff that we're going to find inside of this folder is going to be very familiar. Let's open it up and what you'll see is a bunch of batch files to run Stable Diffusion or to run Comfy UI. You'll also find a README, which we won't cover, but Comfy UI is where we're going to spend a lot of time. And also there's an update area. If we click on the update area, you'll find a couple of files. These files are very important for updating Comfy UI especially when something goes wrong. So if something is not working properly inside of Comfy UI, you can use this guy here to update Comfy UI. And you can also use this guy here to update Comfy UI and Python dependencies. It will give you some instructions as to how to use this if you click that and you start uh, updating. You want to update occasionally. And I'm going to suggest that you probably don't use this one as a routine unless you are having problems with the Python. Uh, the, the Python embed is found here. Now the Python embed means that we've got Python installed here. This looks like Python 3.11. And with Python in, embedded inside of Comfy UI, we don't need to install uh, Python within Windows. We need to take the safe tensor, the Dream Shaper file, and to put it inside of the models area inside of Comfy UI. Copy the Dream Shaper uh, file, go into the Comfy UI Windows Portable folder, Comfy UI, and we go to Models. Now, if you've used Automatic 11.11, a lot of this stuff will seem semi familiar. We've got custom nodes, which are basically where we put our extensions. We've got models, and we've got outputs, where the images that we create are output. Then we go to Models. And inside of models, we go to checkpoints and there I've already pasted Dream Shaper 8. And as soon as that's pasted there, we can go back up again to the top folder. That allows us to now double click on the NVIDIA GPU.bat. This will give us access to Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion. So we'll double click on that and start running that. Now that's going to run in the background. Now I've already run this one time already. So I'm going to stop that and basically show you what the results are. Now, when we run that, we find that we get this kind of output and you'll get a URL. That URL is where you're going to find uh, Stable Diffusion. Just copy this address here or alternatively, it's going to open up automatically anyway. And most of the time, it will just open up in the correct address in your default browser, or you can just paste that address in. Notice that we've already got Dream Shaper 8 chosen. It will choose that automatically. And then we've got, you can choose whatever prompt you want and then just hit Q prompt and that will start the process. It's very quick if you are using the NVIDIA GPU and just keep, keep on keeping on and making different versions. So you're very happy with the results that you're getting try out different prompts. That's basically how we set it up. If you haven't got an NVIDIA GPU, you can use the run CPU.bat. I don't find that at all fast. That's usually going to be really slow. Now, there's a lot more to learn. We've got to learn about the Comfy UI Manager, installing extensions. Security. Security is another important feature we're going to be taking a look at.